We're a very plugged-in society, with many of us attached to our smartphones or tablets all day long. But the Prince George Brain Injured Group Society wants us to unplug. That's because a recent study they've conducted shows many of us can't even put the phone down while behind the wheel. The organization has released a list of the most dangerous intersections in the city. It's about more than road design. It seems that drivers are the ones causing the problem. The streets of Prince George don't look dangerous from the driver's seat, but a new study has found that's not the case. We did the tallies and on average, when you're looking at any intersection in Prince George, there's about 80 distracted drivers per hour. Jane Daigle at the Prince George Brain Injured Group Society took account of over 23,000 drivers this summer and narrowed down the most dangerous intersections in the city. The intersection of Austin Road and the Hart Highway is the worst for distracted driving and pedestrians agree. You have to advise the back of your head, even if you get the go-ahead light, to walk across, it only gets you halfway and then you're... 15th and Ospica and Ferry and Highway 16 also keep the RCMP traffic services busy. Our high, highest one right now is at Ferry and 16, just because of all the development in there, that area. you got two uh, major shopping centers in that area. And again, it's misjudging the, the traffic flow and people just racing lights. But that's not the worst overall. 15th and Victoria is it's kind of a deadly combination of a lot of things. So there's a high number of pedestrians. We found a high number of pedestrians who were jaywalking, um, either crossing the crosswalk when it was already too late or too soon. There were a lot of cyclists and most of the cyclists did not have helmets and they were riding against traffic. I can understand why it's number one too, eh? Um, the accidents happen here and they're known to happen every day, right? So unfortunately this happens to be number one. 15th and Victoria is a new addition to the worst offenders list. Demano in uh, 16 was a big one, but the incidents that we are attending there is become less frequent. It's again, people trying to misjudge uh, other vehicles. It's not the design of the roadway anymore. The brain injured group will crunch the numbers to better understand how to prevent injuries, especially for pedestrians. We have survivors who have been hit by cars before and especially in the winter time, that's a really dangerous time for pedestrians in this city too. So I think it is a relevant focus for us. While the numbers may look discouraging, Daigle says more and more Prince George drivers are coming to a full stop on distracted driving. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.